Hi guys, I'm doing this video because a whole ton of you have asked for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually go through my whole um, guitar rig and try to explain it all. I'm going to try to get into the, the details that um, that I've just had a bunch of questions on uh, more specific stuff. So um, I'm just going to start with the first part, which is the guitars. I'm s this isn't much different from before. Um, this is the main guitar I use. It's a 2008 um, American Standard Telecaster. It's just standard pickups. Um, nothing changed about it. Um, I don't know if I've explained this guitar much. This is a 1978 Telecaster Deluxe. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It sounds nice. I like having the humbuckers, but not as muddy. It doesn't seem as muddy as other humbucker guitars I've played. Um, and then next to that is the uh, Texas Special Strat. It's a 2004, I think. Uh, I could look at the serial number, but I'm not going to right now. Um, so it's a discontinued Fender model. It's uh, it's got the Texas Special pickups in it, and that's about all that's special about it. Um, so, from there, I guess, well, I'll go into the details. I've, I'm using uh, Monster Cables, those ones, um, both for the guitar to the pedal board and from the pedal board to the amps. And from there, go to the board. So, um... I've been playing around a little bit with the overdrives, but f uh, first is the diamond compressor, which I've had for a while, I guess. I, uh, I've been using it with pretty subtle compression, but with the volume cranks, so that you end up um, having a hotter signal into your amp. I just like the way that sounds better. And the micropog, which has been there forever. And then from here, I'm going into the... Uh, tuner instead of using the tuner out on the volume only because when I had my Goodrich volume pedal on I it didn't have the tuner out so I just stuck the tuner in line and I'm using the bypass out so that I can just I can leave the tuner on and then uh, if I roll the volume pedal back um, I don't have to worry with turning the tuner on and off I can just leave it on all the time basically um, and then we go to the overdrives um, tube screamer my TS9 was having problems, it was just falling apart, I've had it for like 10 years, so I got um, the 808, which I really like a lot better, um, it just feels a little warmer, and um, yeah, it's I use it basically the same way, lower, actually since I like the way it sounds better, I've been using more overdrive, um, just playing around, so, and then, so I'll just say right now, I'm, I've just I have a couple overdrive pedals, and I just have been swapping them in and out, just playing with them. So right now I have the Timmy and the BB on. Um, right now I'm using the Tube Screamer for kind of a a uh, little bit darker, more mid rangey obviously sound, and then the Timmy for a brighter, um, around the same gain level sound, and then the BB for uh, just uh, more distortion, more overdrive. So um, from there going to the super hard on clone just for boosts and as I've said before uh, I went back to an Ernie ball only because my good rich volume pedal is not working and I have just been too lazy to send it in and get it fixed so that's the only reason that's there right now I would prefer the good rich but it's just not working right now um then we go into the memory man um new one has the good chips and tap tempo and all the good stuff. Um, and I have uh, this controller is hooked into the memory man here and it's controlling the feedback so I can um, if I turn it back this way then it um, feeds back very little and then all the way up it'll start oscillating so it's just nice to have the control down here and a bigger knob um, then we go into the LCAP stand. 
Um, I'll just tape delay. I use uh, the looper on it a lot. Um, and I use this other knob controls the feedback as well on this guy, the repeats. So it's just nice being able to control the feedback on both these pedals, but just with with my feet. Um, also to note here is that this is where my signal splits to stereo. So you can see the mono input on the right, the George L. The second one is the expression knob, and then the two, um, the stereo out right there. Um, from there, we go into this, the timeline. I've had this for a couple weeks now. Um, I'm still playing with it, honestly. I've found some really good sounds. It's I really like the uh, reverse mode a lot. Um, and um, one of my big things was to make sure it had a good ping pong setting, which I was able to get in the pattern, not pattern, the dual mode. So. Um, really like it so far. Uh, I'm thinking about when I get my Goodrich fixed, turning this Ernie Ball into an expression pedal for that. But I don't know if I'll have room or anything. So um, we're still stereo from there. Um, and then we go to the RB5 for modulated reverb. And then to the blue sky. And this is all in stereo still um, to the blue sky. And I've been liking this setting a lot. I don't know if you can see that. It's a uh, normal room mode, relatively low mix, decay is all the way up so that, um, you know, it just uh, kind of sits underneath your signal when you play. That's been one of my favorite ones combined with the RB5 too, um, with the regular modulate mode. And then um, I have not gotten rid of the boomerang. I still use it. I just, uh, I don't have it on the board because I don't use it enough really to keep it on the board so I pull it out when I want to use it um, so stereo here as well and then uh, still those same monster cables then we go to the amps so first one is the Matchless Chieftain this is a new one from this year from 2011 uh, 212 40 watts whatever um, and then I'm also running into my 1965 um, Twin Reverb, which has the 15-inch speaker in it instead of the 212s. So um, it's it's been having some problems. It's working at the moment. I still need to get a few things fixed on it, but these two amps sound really nice together. The 15, uh, especially when using the, the Micropog with the octave down or even some of the octave down stuff on the timeline. Uh, that 15 really makes it sound nice with the bass response. Um, I guess. So a lot of you had questions about the power supplies, so I used two Voodoo Lab Pedal Power 2 Pluses. And um, the thing to note is that I have five pedals that need a lot of milliamps. So the first one being this guy, the Micropog, and then... Um, the Deluxe Memory Man and the three Strymon pedals all need a good amount of milliamps, and there are only four outputs on the the Pedal Power 2 Plus that can supply high milliamps, so um, I'm powering um, the Blue Sky, the Memory Man, the Strymon, and this off the the regular jacks on the Voodoo Lab, but then for the, for the timeline, I have this nice thing rigged up right here. Um, where I have a little adapter so that I can use the uh, the port on the other side of the pedal power and then I plug the timeline power supply into it um, I don't know, it's not the prettiest thing but it works fine um, so that's that and then I guess the other question I get a lot is patch cables so as you can see I have kind of a mix of stuff um, I've got some George L's um, I get questions about these guys a lot The uh, the little pancake cables, these are honestly just like crappy Hosa cables. And I got them off eBay years ago um, for like, I think it was like 12 bucks for like six of them. And they've worked fine and they've lasted. The nice thing about them is that you can get the pedals that close together um, with how flat they are. So, um, and then I do have 
um, one set of lava cables, so like right here, um, you know, just a mix of stuff. I still have some George L's left over for spares or whatever. Um, and in case you're wondering about some other stuff that I'm not using anymore, these are kind of not rejects, but stuff I'm just not using. Um, with with the whetstone phaser and the super trim, I just found I wasn't using them enough to really justify having them on my board, so they're off for right now. I do still really like both of them, although I've been considering a different tremolo just for uh, for more options with tap tempo and stuff. But I I don't know. I just haven't done anything about it. Um, the whetstone, I honestly really like the. Uh, asymmetric mode, which is the vibe kind of sound, and also the vibrato mode, so um, everything on the phaser, other than the phaser, I guess I used most. Um, so these are just kind of sitting here. Um, I did use this um, JHS buffer for a while. Um, and for a while it sounded good, but then eventually um, it was really making my signal sound a lot worse. It got a lot thinner and harsh and eventually I figured out that this is what was causing it so I took it out and ever since then my sound has gotten better um, I don't know why that happened um, I don't know if there's something wrong with it or if my my signal changes changed enough that weird things were going on with impedance but um, anyway that's that the echo park was pretty much replaced by the timeline I was really only using it for uh, ping pong delays the stereo and the Obviously the timeline does that just fine, along with a zillion other things. Uh, the musket is... I love it. It's just, you know, it's playing around with stuff. It's not on right now. Um, and then some other overdrive pedals. The AC booster, I kind of... Between these four right here, I kind of just swap stuff in and out. I don't really use the, the DoD overdrive that much. I bought it because it was cheap and cool, and um, I don't know. I just didn't really bond with it. Um, so, that's it, I think. Um, I'm trying to think of the, if there's anything else. Oh, the cases for the amps. This one is a, uh, it's from Brady Cases, the one for the Matchless. And the one over here is from, uh, X Case on eBay. Um, they're both fine. I, in all honesty, I, uh, I had a better experience with X Case and I would go with them again. The one thing I don't like, or the one thing I like about the Brady case more is that the the actual hinge is on the on the top instead of the bottom. So when I take it off, there's you know, there's no hardware here, just the lip. But with the other one, you know, the latch is there. But it's not a huge deal. I it's just a looks thing. I like it better that way. Um So, that's it. Oh, and I guess I'm powering so I'm powering everything with this uh, extension cord. So the two uh, the two pedal powers are plugged in here, and this is the power supply for the boomerang because I don't have room for it either. That's a high milliamp pedal. So, uh, anyways, this has been long, and uh, but I hope it answered some of your questions, and I hope that you know if you were just dying for this, I hope this made you happy or something. So, uh, any questions um, that I, anything that I didn't answer, just let me know, and I'll answer it. So, anyways, uh, Merry Christmas. Bye.